What's going on, you guys? This is Michael, the owner of True Shine Cleaning, back with another blog. Um, if you guys haven't already, can you please subscribe to the YouTube channel? Follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Um, haven't been too, um, haven't been too, uh, posting too much content on YouTube, and so I slowed down a lot because I do a lot of upholstery jobs and carpet. But um, I've learned like after looking at some of like the analytics of my business page of everybody exactly everybody but i get more uh views more likes more reactions on vacuuming videos i guess my subscriber base likes the vacuuming videos um i'm more focused on right now i changed my business model this year so i mainly focus heavily on upholstery cleaning i still do carpet but when it comes to this carpet, it don't be a lot of those heavily soiled. So when I get the, you know, when I vacuum these rooms, it's not a huge like before and after. I'm not vacuuming a lot of dirt. So it's like sometimes I'd be like, yeah, there's no point of showing that content. So I don't record. So sometimes I just go do the job. I can hear my son up there crying. He up there with his mom. So, but sometimes I just, just get the work done and move forward. I may post a little clip here and there, but it has not been a lot of heavily soil vacuuming jobs I come across this year. It's been some um, majority of upholstery. It's been some carpet. I do have an, a video I'm gonna upload to you guys now. Honestly, this carpet was in great condition. I did like 10 areas of carpet and there's probably like two spots on the carpet. So it's like, I do a lot of jobs like this to where it's like, it doesn't really, I don't really have too much to really show. I like to show a good before and after something like that. Just to, you know, I don't want to just be forcing content on you guys. So I wanted to, I'll be wanting to jobs to make a, you know, I'll be wanting to look different. I want, if you're going, I'm going to show you the beginning of a job and at the end you get a whole wow sensation off of it or whatever. So it's like, I don't want it to just be a plain video. I don't know, man, but I got to get out of that mindset, I guess, and just put the content out there, even if the carpet is in great condition or not. But this video I'm going to show you guys is um great, a uh, great repeat customer. I worked with her a year ago, and that was the first time I actually did her house. I did her mom's house like last year, so I did carpet and tile and grout. Did the kitchen area, tile and grout, the laundry room. I did their entire house carpet. So here goes the video. Uh, to, to add on to this video um, with this client, I do currently still have on my van that I offer detailing and pressure washing services. So as I was at this customer home, she seen that her husband seen actually, her husband was out. He saw that I pressure wash, uh, that I offer the service. And at the time, I didn't tell them that I didn't do it. I just told them, yeah, I can look around and give you a price on it. And honestly, the house wasn't bad. And I honestly really thought about it. Like, I took a bunch of pictures. Um, they, you know, they, they it just really just had one side of the house. I'm not sure if you guys know. I'm in the Midwest. I'm in the Midwest area. So the way a lot of our houses is, like, the north side of the house usually gets a lot of that um like algae on it the mold the, the areas where the sun doesn't really touch uh during the day so they only had like one side of the house that wasn't bad but honestly i felt like i did take the pictures i recorded it and i sent it over to another uh company that i do like network with they send me work i send them work and i just did that i, I didn't i felt like i was gonna be chasing money if i was gonna do that job don't get me wrong it was it was a pretty easy job. I may have to, I probably gonna have to get up on a ladder to get to it because of the way the house was kind of set up. But I have, I had everything I needed to kind of really get the job done. But they did mention that the last company that they hired, they used some type of chemical or something and they had made a comment that it had killed like a snake or something in their yard or something like that. So I was like, I know what I'm going to use is. I mean, it's, you're going to use you're going to use some type of cleaning product to clean the algae off the house. So 
honestly, I was just like, I just pass this on to somebody who actually does this full time. They know all the proper procedures to prevent these things. Because I did let let the guy I know network who I network with. I did let him know that they was they did have a concern about what they're going to be using. So I mean, he said he know what to use and stuff like that. Like he he used I mean, he he pressure washes twenty four seven. So he know what to use. So I didn't I didn't want to chase that money like. Don't get me wrong, it would have been a nice job after doing the carpet, after doing the tiling grout, and pressure washing the house. I could have came out with a decent little ticket that day. But I chose not to chase the money. And that's the mindset that I'm in now. I'm just focusing on what I actually enjoy doing. What's going on, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok? This is Mike with the owner of True Shine Cleaning. Here out at a. Um, a repeat client, I will say, about a year ago, I worked with her mom. I mean, I worked with her, but they were selling uh, her parents' home. So, so you guys, some of the work. I'm sure you can see my van out there window oh. this is one of the guest bedrooms carpet is in excellent condition this is another guest bedroom we're gonna see if we can get that spot out not sure what that is office space Hallway. It is a little wear and tear right here, but other than that, that's cool. And a little office, I mean, a little closet here in the bathroom. So, this is the upstairs area. On this part, I want to add protector to the steps the hallway and the master bedroom. I'm doing the basement and the steps. So I'm going to set this fan down here and let it dry some of the carpet as I clean the upstairs. So you can see, I have to let the fan blow because as you can see this part right here, the carpet is starting to buckle up because of the carpet is wet. So I'm going to turn the fan on. And everything should go back. Uh, all the carpet should go back down. So. so not doing that room. I mean, not, I didn't do that room, man. Clean this closet here. I'm not clean this bedroom. So that's an older couple. So they have a lot of guest bedrooms. They say all their kids are out of state, so they don't have too much traffic. So they just want the carpets freshened up. So it's a pretty, pretty decent job. Um, been here since about eight o'clock. It is just turning. I'm not sure if y'all can see it, but just turned ten o'clock. So. I just have the upstairs left. Probably be here to about 11, 30, 12. Taking my time on it. So, 
Yep. All right, so guys, finishing up. I'm actually finished with the carpet. Did the upstairs, did the basement. So as we was uh, wrapping things up, um, she asked me about tile and grout. So now I'm in here doing like a test spot just to see if I can get the grout lines to come out. Uh, let me see if I can find the area. The grout usually looks like, uh, maybe you can see that. It's like a light, like a light gray. Uh, uh, something like that. So this, that's the look they're looking for. So right now as you can see how dirty it is compared to that. So just doing a little test by her and we're gonna see how it comes out. One thing about these dark color brown lines, you're gonna have to rub them and then let the fan dry it up. Just so you can really see how clean it comes out. You're gonna see. And if they liked it, I quoted them just for this kitchen area, uh, 200 bucks, so. All right, you guys, getting ready to start this uh, grout cleaning. So, as you can see, I've already pre-sprayed, letting, it, letting it, the um, cleaning agent uh, sit and dwell on the tile. See. Take you guys in. I've already pre-sprayed, already agitated. Now I'm just gonna go through and rinse everything out. Mm 